in the world is Alicia? This is the question so many friends have been asking. And actually, I've been in transition for almost a year now. I was living in Cyprus. I began to get very ill, having had an ear infection, terrible aches and pains. None of the doctors seemed to know what was going on. I came back to England, went to doctors again. Nobody knew what was going on. I went through CAT scans and experiments, all sorts of things. Everybody thought I was being a hypochondriac because I seemed to have so many symptoms from feeling as if I had arthritis to terrible excruciating pains in my head and neck that were 24 hours, stomach aches and many other things. Finally, I had a stroke of luck just this June and this meant that I went into hospital. I literally had a stroke uh, down my left side. And because of that stroke, as I call it, a stroke of luck, I had the MRI, the um, amazing scanning system that's able to look at all the soft tissue. And they realized and dived deeper into seeing that I had an awful lot more than just a stroke. So actually, I got the tick-borne disease that many of you have heard of called Lyme's disease. And I know that it's a pretty big epidemic in the United States. It's much rarer in Europe. But um, who knows where we catch these things from. For a long time, I felt as if something was either attacking me or eating away at me from inside. And finally, I was so glad to get a diagnosis. And that actually gave me a motivation to really step up there. Of course, I ended up being hospitalized for nearly a month, going on all sorts of steroids and antibiotics for about a month in hospital. And then when I was coming out, I wanted to find a way to really truly rehabilitate myself as if I'd gone through this long transition and this transformation and it was time to re-find myself, but almost in another way and another level. So I took the decision as I was invited by wonderful Hart family to come here to these very holy lands of New Mexico known as the land of enchantment and I've been on herbs and supplements all sorts of things building up my inner and outer stamina because of course we always have to look at what was actually going on inside of me that perhaps created this situation so for me I feel as if I was going through a transition I don't necessarily need to know all the details it's certainly woken me up to an even larger and more expanded awareness of how wonderful life can be and I hope that this short message will inspire some of you I'm going to put a little information below for some um, organizations that you might be able to contact that are to do with especially Lyme disease and strokes and please feel free to contact me if you want to and if I can help you in any way I'd be delighted to. So here I am in the southeastern mountains. This is actually the Capitan Mountains in the background and in a beautiful high desert at about six and a half thousand feet. So that is where I am at this moment in time. I'm signing off now. Wish you so much love and look forward to speaking to you again very soon. Much love to you. Bye-bye.